Good day everybody, it's me, the Mark. So, let me first start off by... It's been a while, how are you? Good? Good. So, I decided since I'm kinda getting excited for the next Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And being a huge fan and all of the zombies mode, I thought, let's make a personal like top 14, which I thought, but it's a 13 of all the maps in Black Ops 3. But I really, you know, so it's been a while since I played them personally. I only played like a few now and then. So for now, this is my top 13 of Black Ops 3 zombies. On the spot for number 13 is Shangri-La. It's not a surprise that Shangri-La is there. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I do like I do like the jungle maps, and there I do like them, but this one is just a slow one, it stops you, it, it haunts you, it will kill you down, but all in all, it's fun, right? Just like all the other maps, I like them, I have nothing really bad about to say about them, but jungle up, number 13, on to number 12, Doctor and Toten, it's um, yeah, it's the first map they ever created, and they did a banger of a job. It's just the first one, so not much to say about that one, can I? I'll watch number 11. Now, here's a surprise for most of you, I think. Gorod Grovey. Not my personal favorite. It's uh, my least favorite of Black Ops 3 itself. But still, good map. Zombies, Russians, dragons. What do you want more? And you can have a pet dragon? Dude. Now, from the Russians to the end. Number 10, Revelations. Actually, not gonna lie, I love this map. For the amount of played it, actually. Never was able to finish the Easter egg since I didn't finish the Easter egg and recovered Grogi. But, one day, one day I can finally do it. In my opinion, this is also one of the best way to upgrade. If you think about it. first, you need to go to every island, charge the uh, charge the electric net, trap the beast. You know it. Trap the giant apophagon, get sucked into him, shoot his intestines, get the pack a punch, pack a punch of shit. You know how it is. Everybody loves it. Onwards. From a dimension unknown to the moon. Griffin Station. Number 9. Moon. Moon. It's it's a map. Where you start. It's You don't start at the moon. Instantly you start at Area 51. Hangar 18. Everyone loves it. Where you just run around and don't know what to do. And then you just all oh, get on the teleporter and start your wave 1. And like, wait a minute. I've been playing this game for... 10 minutes already! The book. Oh no, it's a good map. One of the best equipped both. Equipment both. Out there too. The hacking machine. The hacking device. What is the hacking device? It's a good one. Everyone loves the hacking device. You like the hacking device. I like the hacking device. Everybody likes the hacking device. Where you can just Switch your gun upside down. Get the, get the upgraded ammo for nothing, and a normal and a normal bullets for everything. But still, from the moon, let's just go to everyone's favorite. The map that keeps coming back and back and back, but this time named differently. The giant. Yeah, well, you can't say anything bad about the giant. Only that it's been. Returning and returning and it has been in every game buff. Right? Yeah. I'm not surprised if they're gonna, you know, let it come back in uh, Black Ops 4. But we'll see about that one. Favorite Easter egg too, it's the easiest, not gonna lie to when the giant robot shoots the snow and refuse dead shot. Who doesn't love dead shot? <laughs> well from number eight we'll go to number seven. Origins. This is a big map. Well, not really a quick map, too, because you have the, the dirt that will slow you down. And then the giant machine, Locator Freya, right? That will stop you in your way. 
cool easter egg, not gonna lie, it's a... Uh, you need a lot of sticky notes if you want to remember all the... If you want to remember all the things, all the upgrades of the staffs and all the steps of the easter egg, but it's a fun one. It's a fun one. That's why it's a number 7 for me. It's just a big, big, big old map. Everybody loves it. And number 6. And I told you that I liked the jungles, right? I like all the jungle maps, except for Shangri-La. And it's, you know, I know there are three, can't wait to make, to say it, it's four, but right now, number six, Shinonuma. That's right, it's the map everybody loves, it's from World of War, it's a cool map, I like it, it's, in, every time you play it, it's different, it's different if you play with more, and different when you play with less, every perk is it's not a stationary position, it's just one wait. So, but if you play alone, you 9 out of 10 times, you're pretty screwed. Because if you want to check it out, right, and it's in the last one, and you need to open the last door, that's gonna be sending you back thousands of points. Thousands, and it's gonna be usually around, around 10, 12, if you have everything open. But, I digress. From one jungle to another, it's Z7 Onoshima. Who doesn't like Setsu Monoshima? I like it. It's a cool... I... It's a cool map. It stars the favorite character of mine, Takio. Everybody loves Takio, right? When it's sword that's finally gonna be used. Finally. Go. Go. And... This map... Has... Not one, but two bosses to fight. Just like Gorokrovi, but... This one isn't like two, like one, two. No, this one is one. A few steps later, two. Which is better in my case, I feel like. And you have the creation of your plans. Ooh, ooh. What else do you want? What else do you want? Let's go from Zetsubo to Shadows, the first map of Black Ops 3, which I enjoyed. Yeah, you heard it. I enjoyed it. What do you want from me? It's a cool map. The Apothecons is nice. The monsters are nice. The, the flies are eh. But the meatballs are nice. And the way you get your sword and how you upgrade it and how you do the easter egg. It's very well done. Well thought of. I like it. That's why it's on number 4. From the shadows we ascend to the light. Kinda. Number 3. Ascension. Number 3. Welcome to the top 3 for now. And that's, and the placeholder for now is Ascension. Everybody loves Ascension, it's not a, you probably can guess the last three by yourself, but on three, it's Ascension, it's the rockets, it's the black and white start, it's everything, it's just the vibe, it's the things, you have played it enough. The dialogue, it's all started there, it's... Mm, mm, mm. And let's go from the station to a castle. Number two, the Rising Dragon. Everyone loves the Rising Dragon. It's one of their best maps yet. Not gonna lie, it's always gonna be high for me, in a way. But this time it's on number two, the bows. Just get your sticky notes back because you need to know all the steps if you want to complete them. If you want to complete like the Easter egg, not even anymore. I think. I think you only need one upgrade and then that's it. But if you want to beat the boss. And you are with four, and it's probably best if you have like three or four upgraded bows. But I don't know. It's just a cool map. It's a cool vibe. Just the snowy vibe. I like it. It's not not as cool as the creepy old jungle vibe with monkeys and. But it's a good one. And on the number one spot, it's the last map. Nobody knows. Nobody who's gonna see this one coming. It's the first map I ever played. This is what got me into zombies. That's right. It is Kino the Toten. What's not to like about Kino the Toten, right? It is a Kino, which is a theater. You can play it lots of times. Not gonna get bored. Maybe you will. But it has creepy crawlers, Nova Six bombers, dogs. Just you name it, they have it. Probably not, 
the song is banger. I'm not gonna say much about that, but it's just mmm. I like the map. I uh but what I personally think the keynote tone has brought a lot of people into the community of zombies itself. A lot of people started here, a lot of people are still from Kino here, and it's just a good map that brought people in. Well, the word, they're the old guys, right? They're the old guys. Kino? That's right, that's a new one. So, and that's a list. For now, at least. It's, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it a lot from now till then and at the end before right before it comes out I'm gonna have a new list for sure maybe it's different maybe it's the same I'm not sure but I have more to say about it by then put down in the description if your number five is also Setsubo then I welcome you welcome to the Setsubo probably gonna end up higher after playing a lot more but that will be for later right thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Bye bye!